Hi, this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do your reading for the 22nd to the end of April. So this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up for the week ahead. This may or may not be for you, okay? This is for Pisces. I know that I've gotten a lot of requests. People want singles readings, and I still got to do May, and then somebody's asked me for a three-month forecast, and it's just like, you know what, I'm trying. I really am, and I got private readings to do, and I have kids, and I'm, I'm, I'm really trying, so just bear with me. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, what do we got for the week ahead? Ooh, four of coins holding on to something. Saving. <laughs> Ooh, ten of swords. Now this is a completion. It is. Defeat. You may feel like you've been defeated. Two wands. At a crossroads, you have a choice to make. You have a decision to make. Which way do you want to go? You may be struggling with this decision. There's lack of wish fulfillment someplace. I mean, that's what this is. You may, have, you may be losing hope. You may be losing hope in a situation. Ooh, the chariot reversed. <laughs> There's whew, somebody may not be mastering their emotions very well. That you may be stuck, it's stuck in a painful situation. Perhaps maybe you're somebody's holding on tight. They're holding on, and you're probably getting frustrated, or you are frustrated, or I don't know. There's lack of forward movement. There's lack of victory here. Nine of Wands giving up. Don't have much. I can't do this anymore. Something. Ooh, death. Now this is the end, so it's time. It's time for the end. It's time for something to come to an end because there's there's no wish fulfillment there. I mean, the death is an end, and this is a, there's been a serious struggle here. And I think that you're you're ready to give up, you know. You're ready to give up. It's like you don't have any strength left. You're dealing with somebody who's giving up. I mean, this is painful. This is painful. No forward movement. Oh, my God. Going backwards. Uh, page of Wands reversed. You may be distracted. This is bad news. Um... <laughs> The wheel reverse. This is bad luck. Going backwards. You're not moving forward. Something is keeping you stuck, Pisces. Interesting. Ooh. Ha. Ace of Wands reverse. There's no growth. There's no growth. There's no passion. No desire. Ah. Something has gone south, perhaps. Maybe a lack of loss of energy here. Somebody is giving up, okay? That nine of wands in the middle, that is somebody is giving up. It's like they've been distracted. There's no, there's no passion left, okay, for this situation. Whatever it is, there's no ambition, no desire to move forward anymore. It's like I'm sick of it sick of it whatever that is now um <laughs> let's get some more cards Whew, that star card right it was reluctant to move on somebody's not moving on and you maybe you're waiting for them to move on or there's lack of transition here there's lack of balance okay things are a little trouble things are troublesome right things are troublesome 
somebody is not transitioning or they're not moving on like they should be they have they're at you're at this crossroads right you have this opportunity to go in another direction but you can't for some reason there's something holding you back it's an ending okay um, there's something going on behind the scenes here I think that you may want to escape you probably like man I would just like to escape this situation maybe you're waiting for an escape I feel as though there's some sort of secrets there's something hidden here um, and I think that you're ready to release it you're ready you're sick of it I think that you're sick of it you're just ready for peace right yeah, that's what you want I think that maybe you're waiting for some sort of closure or you're waiting for an ending of some sort because nines are closure. We got both these nines here. You're waiting for something. There's been a delay. Three of swords reverse. That's recovery. Recovery period. Recovering from a painful situation. Maybe you're still recovering from a painful situation. I'm not sure. I mean, three of swords reversed over that chariot. There's no forward chariot reverse. There's no for Something is keeping you stuck with that wheel. Something is holding you back. Something. And I think that you're waiting for, you're waiting to heal. Or you're waiting, or you're wanting to heal. You're wanting this recovery. You're wanting, maybe you're wanting forgiveness. Maybe somebody's asking you for forgiveness. This is a card of forgiveness, three of swords reversed. But there's no forward movement here. Maybe there's no forgiveness. I don't know. Four of Wands. This reverse. There's this is a unhappy partnership, an unhappy relationship. Some of you are in an unhappy relationship that you might not want to be committed to anymore. Or you've been through a split of some sort and you're healing still. But this is holding on. You may be holding on for some reason. Somebody, whether it's you or the other person, somebody's still holding on. But it's like there's no hope here. There's lack of wish fulfillment and somebody's, it's coming, it's going to come to an end. Okay, something is going to eventually come to an end. It's time to, you know, begin again. Endings bring new beginnings. So this is in, this is in your hopes and fears position. This is you hoping for this ending you may be waiting for it you're waiting for it maybe you're waiting for somebody to make a decision to end it something like that i think that you're ready to release this anguish i think you're you're sick of waiting whatever it is um now there's two cups here this is the knight of cups but i think that maybe you you i mean this is this is the two of cups even though it's the knight of cups i see these two cups and i instantly think two of cups i think this is definitely about a partnership this is wanting a fulfilling relationship, perhaps. Maybe you're waiting to for somebody to move forward so that you can have a fulfilling relationship. Maybe somebody is... This is a, this this night takes action, right? Moves forward towards love, so. But this is coming out of an unhappy relationship. This is not a, a happy relationship. Four of Wands reversed. I mean, it's not happy. And somebody is stuck in an unhappy relationship. And I don't know what the hell is going on here. Yes, there's no love there. I'm sorry, but that's what this is. I think that the, you know. And they're searching or hoping or wanting a more fulfilling relationship. So maybe you're in a period of, you know... I don't see it, but maybe you're in a period of limbo. You're in a period of waiting of some sort. And I think that you're really getting, you know, it's causing you a lot of mental term. You may be getting frustrated. You may be definitely you're losing sleep and you're sick of it. You're like, man, I just want to get some sleep at night. I, I, I'm looking for something more. Um, you may be focusing on everything but love at this time. Or you could be dealing with a person that's focusing on everything but love. Um... We have somebody that is being unrealistic and maybe they're very stubborn. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who, or if it's you, is focused on money, focused on coin, focused on business. You know, we got somebody here that is maybe needing to balance out love and relationship. You know, love and um, 
money. I think we have somebody here that is really caught up. I mean, really, really caught up in their own mental turmoil over a relationship. <laughs> okay. I think they're waiting. They're waiting with that Wheel of Fortune reverse. They're waiting for something to change, but it's not changing for some reason. It's like I'm waiting for something to change, but it's not changing. And I think that you're getting frustrated because you're not, no progress is being made, okay, with that Six of Swords reversed. And I think you're, you have an opportunity with that Two of Swords. You know, right now you're at this crossroads and you're ready to cross that bridge. I think you're ready. You're ready to, for this to end, whatever it is. Something needs to end. Um, this card does never make sense to me. <clears throat> you may feel like you're fighting fighting a losing battle you may feel like you're walking on eggshells constantly you just never know what's going to you're walking right into a, like a minefield you know what I mean you just never know when this is going to blow up you're just waiting for the blow up You probably have a new option for love and you you see it and you want it. I do think that you do. You probably see a new opportunity with somebody, maybe somebody that's better suited for you. You know, somebody that could be your perfect match, but something needs to come to an end first. You may have an unexpected choice in love or you have to make it. You definitely need to make a choice here. You probably have an option to move in another direction, but you're... Maybe you're waiting for somebody else to, to make that call, right? You're making waiting for them to actually move on so that you can move on, whatever that means. I feel like you have a better option for love here, and I think that you might know that. Okay, this is when when I see the lover's card, it's like you have you have a choice, and you probably know who it is, but you may be stuck in the wrong partnership, but you got to get out of it first, but you can't get out of it. Maybe you don't want to hurt anybody. I don't freaking know. But anyway, there is an opportunity for love here. So there is love that, with a perfect match coming into your life. Whether it's already arrived and you're stuck in the wrong situation and you can't accept it for who or they are or something like that. I think that you have a new opportunity for love here and something is holding you back from accepting it. Or going in that direction yeah there's a delay there may not be any communication with this person because there's no forward movement nobody's taking you're probably waiting for something to end so that you can move forward into this union whatever it is there's a union here Pisces but there's a delay here there's a delay because somebody is holding on to a dead end okay that's the truth. So I feel like we have somebody that has to release. They need to... Uh, get unstuck. I mean, this is you. You're sacrificing your... This is limbo. Remember I said you're in limbo? This is limbo. It's like you're in a state of limbo. You're allowing it. You're choosing to be there. Maybe you're trying to prove a point to somebody. Maybe you're trying to prove something. You know, that's... That's what I see. And that's causing you to be stuck. Now, this is a person that is resists change. I will not change for anybody. Well, then you're going to deal with pain, right? How long can you hang there? You ever, the longer you hang, the more painful it's going to be. So I, I just feel like we have somebody here that is trying to prove something. And it's causing them to experience some sort of frustration and pain when all they have to do is face the struggle and look at things from a new perspective. That, I mean, you could look up the card and you would see what I just said, okay? You need to look at something from a new perspective. You need to stop resisting change, okay? Um, I see that, yeah, there's somebody here that is very stubborn. This is very stubborn energy. This one is too, and sorry, this one. So we have somebody here that is very stubborn trying to prove a point to somebody and they're dealing with pain and suffering because 
they don't need to do that if they could perhaps this is communication is needed if they could you know make the decision that is best for them and stop waiting for the other person to make the decision you know I feel like you guys need to take action I think somebody is in a loveless kind of situation where it's keeping them stuck and they're waiting for the other person to move on or they're waiting for the other person to make the decision when the fact of the matter is is it's in your hands. You have to make the decision um, to face the struggle, okay? Because there's an opportunity for love here with somebody that is perfect for you, but there's a dead end that is needs to be released, okay? Dead end needs to be released. So, I mean, that's what I see. I, I feel like you have a better option here. You have a better option. I think you probably know who this person is. Um, interesting. We have Gemini. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Aquarius. We have everybody. We have Scorpio. I think I already said that. But we have somebody that is getting, it's almost like they're getting a, a run of bad luck or bad karma because they're not, you're not spinning the wheel. You're not accepting change. You're not taking action. You know, you, free, Wheel of Fortune is a card of free will and fate. You have to spin that wheel to get a reward. You know, you have to take action. So I feel like we have somebody that is trying to heal from a situation that wasn't successful. And they can't really heal from it for some reason. I don't freaking know why. But somebody may be losing hope that they've lost their wish fulfillment because they got themselves involved in a dead end situation. I don't know. But that death card is an ending that does bring lead you to a new beginning with somebody that is really perfect for you. So you do have a perfect match here. You do. Um... That goal of control. This is this sums up your hangman right here. Okay, this does. That goal of control issues allow this situation to unfold naturally. Just just go with whatever is meant to be is meant to be. Don't hold back. Stop stop being stuck. Come out of limbo. Whatever you are told to do, just do it. Just just do it. Don't don't question it. Just do it. Whatever that means. Let's get one more card for Pisces. You have a new opportunity for love here, and I think it's with somebody other than the one that you're waiting to move on. I think that... Yeah, you're probably with somebody that's not well-suited for you. And you're waiting for it to end, or you're dealing with a person that is with another person that is it well suited for them? I don't know what the case is, but you have an option for love here. Put it that way. But there's no for, there's no action being taken because somebody is in a state of limbo, stagnation. They're re resisting. They're resisting it. Now the hangman is the master of non-attachment. So we got somebody here that is, you may be resisting. I mean, the four of Wands is resisting commitment. We're afraid of marriage. <laughs> that makes sense now, doesn't it? So anyway, um, this is blocked communication. So somebody may have blocked you or you may have blocked them. I don't know. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, like I said. I think you know who this is, Pisces. And this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So whichever sign, you know. Um, there are feelings here and I think you know you know what they are you know who they're for I think you do know this person and I think that there's something holding you back and you're being called to just whatever it is to let this let this love into your life whatever it is um, one more card for Pisces passion Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You got a new love connection here if you're single. If you're single, then, you know, you could be running into somebody. I don't know how this is. I really feel like you already know who this person is. I do. Um, 
but there's fear of attachment. There's fear maybe of getting stuck with this person or you're in a situation now that is hindering you from this lover, whoever this lover is. Um, well, let's get one of these. So I think this week ahead, there's an opportunity for passion. There's an opportunity for love. There's an opportunity for... Uh, you know, with death, that's a new beginning. Endings in a new beginning. So there's an opportunity for a new beginning here. There is. But you're going to have to let go of your fear, fears and you're going to have to let go of your your mental thoughts, you know, your negative thoughts. That ten of swords, that's mental anguish. That's your fear, you know, you, you, you're, you're going to have to face the struggle, put it that way. So I think that we have somebody that's trying to escape the, the real deal when they, when they have an opportunity for love. You know, you, you're, you can't just escape the truth, okay? There's escapism with that moon card. See, somebody's hiding their true feelings. Something is hidden here. I think you're waiting for somebody else to make a move when it's the move is in your hands. So I don't know what that is, but you got to let go of those control issues. I think that somebody's in a loveless, passionless, because I see the passion. We talked about that passionless relationship, and it's like they're, they're losing hope that it's ever going to end. Well, it is going to end. It is going to come to an end, but I think that you have to. You play a part in that ending. Change in direction. The changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future, so follow your path to the happy outcomes you desire. This is saying, follow your path that you, to your desires. What do you want, Pisces? Something is holding you back. Face it. Deal with it. Everybody deserves to be loved. And you do have a, a, this is a perfect match, okay? It's destined, meant to be. Go in that direction. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So I think that somebody has been blocking their true feelings. This is blocking true feelings about who they're passionate for and it's time to change your direction there's nothing left to prove follow your heart and that's what I have Pisces I feel like we have an ending coming with that death card it's a major ending whatever this ending is it's happening because you deserve love, period. Good luck.